<laughs> Hello everybody. It's Rough Rider time. Thank you very much to Games Workshop for sending me this kit, obviously to preview for you all. The Rough Riders are, I, I do really, really like the kit. Uh, now I've got my hands on them. I didn't particularly like the Vestroyan style hats, which they had. But um, as you can see, I've swapped my helmets and hats, uh, heads, hats. <laughs> swapped my heads and hats. Speaking of hats, it is a it is a bad hair day today, uh, hence the hat. Uh, it's, <laughs> so you'll have to excuse, you'll have to excuse the hat. Uh, but it is warm, so uh, <laughs> it's a cold day, so it keeps my head. Warm. Anyway, <laughs> the Vestroyan the Vestroyan heads. I'm not a big fan of the Vestroyan heads, so I've swapped swapped out for um, my Cadian so that it fits in with my. Cadian City Fight scheme, uh, and I will be doing a, a basing video that's going to be coming next week. So keep an eye out for that one. Uh, these bases are looking really, really cool, and um, I'm looking forward to getting more of those done. But as I was looking at these and as I was building them, I noticed that they've all got their LAS rifles in little holsters on the side of the horse. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, well, we're gonna need to put <laughs> we're gonna need to put a las rifle in the arms in the arms of one of them. So as they're charging forwards, uh, you obviously need the lancers for when you get into combat. But while you're riding around the battlefield, you can shooty shoot people. So we've got a um, we've got a pew pew rifle, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got hiccups now. It is not a good day. I've got bad hair day. I've got hiccup. No, it's fine. <laughs> We're gonna build up, build up uh, one of the rough riders. You can do it with that, with any of them. Um, I have checked. You can. You, it, it works and it it fits uh, all the different uh, poses. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up a horse. We are not gonna glue on the las rifle holster part. So we're gonna leave that one off because we're gonna need to uh, add in the lance onto that. And uh, we're not going to uh, assemble the torso, obviously. But everything else, we're going to get, we're going to get all glued together. Uh, so we will do that now, and I will see you in a second. And then we're going to make a pew pew, a tillin, a rough rider. They are very cool. I don't know whether to. I'm really tempted to paint that as like a brand rather than rather than uh, having it as the uh, barding. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I'm really tempted to paint all this as like a as horse skin, and then have that branded on the back of the horse, which uh, maybe. But <laughs> I think it would look cool. Uh, anyway, right. Let's get to, let's get to some converting because I think they look cool. So I'm gonna do my plan for the whole unit. I'm gonna have two with the rifles. I'm gonna have one with the melter tip, one with the frag tip, and then one with the Tesla tip, uh, and then they can all. They can all just sit there in the unit. Uh, if I get another box, I'll probably grab another box. If I get another box, I'll build those all with lances, and then I can. Or actually, I might build, I might build two more, and then I can have a unit all with, um, all with the the las rifles out. I think that would look quite cool as well. Anyway, right, let's get to building. Get those out of the way. Get the sprue in. In fact, let's get rid of my head. You don't need to see my little floppy hat. There we go. So we've got all the bits assembled. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off that little uh, registration nodule because that stops the torso from twisting. So we're just going to get a cheap pair of pliers, snip that off. doesn't have to be neat at all. Uh, and then that will allow the torso to twist and uh, pose where we want the uh, rifle to uh, to be pointing. The next thing we're going to do uh, is we're just going to snip off the las rifle that's in the holster, like that. 
and just clean up that edge. Be very, very careful cleaning up the edge. Okay. Now this is where, because they, they, they're going to need they're going to need a lance, so this is where the lance is going to be stored. Um, the same as this one here, look. Nice and simple. But uh, before we do that, oh yeah, the next thing as well. So uh, one of the next things is the rain. Uh, the rains uh, always come round and they join up just underneath the left hand of the rider. So all we need to do for this is we're going to do it with a knife if we cut off the bottom of the rein like that there we go and then when we open the pot of glue what we can do is we can glue this on drop a spot of glue in there that's way too much we'll suck it out there we go so if we drop, this is why I like this glue, because, there we go. So if we drop that in there like that, glue it around the neck of the horse, and then that will match up over here, and the torso and the gun will hide that anyway, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just kind of cover that in glue as well just so it softens the edges and makes the edges look a little bit neater right now gun the uh, the gun part itself now i've added a couple of bits of uh tack to the side of this and i've got i've actually got a hot shot from the kazakin squad now when you're assembling them the torsos themselves are quite chunky they're quite large so the re uh, the regular cadian uh rifles don't don't particularly stretch that that wide you have to kind of fudge it a little bit so you can see this it's fudged a little bit i'll probably throw a little bit of putty underneath that at some point but you can't really tell from the top and i was just wondering whether the kazakin might be a better look and this one this particular atalan might be a real good sharpshooter or something which is why he's got a hot shot rather than a regular one so I think that might be quite interesting now it is a hot shot so what we'd have to do is just trim off the bits on the bottom like that there we go now he's got a cool now he's got a cool rifle with a with a with a, <laughs> with a sniper range finder um a sniper scope I don't think like if <laughs> he's not going to make use of that is it, when, he, when he's on when he's on horseback, but maybe uh, maybe he's the the sniper that gets around, uh, and there we go. That doesn't look too bad actually. I think it's a little bit chunky. I think it's a little bit chunky, but it does look quite cool. Right. So the next thing is the little pouch at the back. There's a little belt pouch at the back. Uh, that occasionally, depending on where you want the torso to be. Um, posed you might need to snap that and snip that off but what we're going to do is we're going to swap out the kazakin uh, the kazakin hotshot las rifle for a regular las rifle le regular las gun and um, this one's going to be not shooting as much but this is going to be just more in hand and i think this one is probably going to be the winner yeah let's do that one so that's going to look really cool. So we are going to grab a little bit of tack, remove the tack that's already on the model. Top tip: if you need to remove, if you need to remove tack from your model once you're once you've finished mocking everything up, if you get another piece of tack, it just removes it. Like it sticks to itself, but it doesn't stick more than it st wants to stick to the model. So the easiest way to remove it. Okay, so we're going to get that marked up on there. So if we get the we get the gun arm posed in the right angle then we can make the other arm fit basically that's what we're going to do it's the easiest way to do it if we put the other arm on then it, that's not the largest part of the model therefore it's going to be much more difficult to get the gun arm fitted 
So that's going to go on there like that. Boom. And we'll, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to lift that up like that. Now we are going to have to pull this away from the back of the shoulder because there's no way, there's no way the gun, uh, there's no way the arm is going to reach down there. Oh, it might do actually. Oh, it's not that far away actually, is it? It's not that far away. So let's put it like that. And what you can do with this glue that I use is flood the area a little bit, wait for it to go off, and then just stretch it out a fraction. There you go. Now let's get the other arm on. This will be very interesting to see if it can, if I can make this fit. Very interesting to see if I can make this fit. There we go. What's that fit like? <laughs> fit is not great. So that might need to have uh, just a touch, just a touch of filler in there. That's not too bad. Uh, in terms of filler for things like that, I use a Vallejo plastic putty. Uh, it comes in a little squeezy tube, so you can just you can just squeeze stuff out. And uh, it's also water soluble as well. So if you get a damp brush, you can fill it in. So what we'll do is I'll put a little bit more glue in that gap there, like that, and we'll come back in a second when that's dry, and we'll carry on with Mr. Pew Pew Atalan Rough Rider. Yeah, that, that looks cool actually. He's got his he's got his gun out in front of him. Right, back in a second, and we'll carry on. So the next little bit we're going to need, I'm going to address the holster, and what we're going to do. Uh, if you look at how the holster fits on the horse, then we can put the lance inside, and for it to sit down at the bottom. Obviously, we've got half of the grip to uh, to go, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit it a little bit closer as well, so that this bit can touch the side as well, and just give it a bit more support. So we're going to drill this one rather than the last one. If you look at the last one, I drilled it there in the side, so it was it was leaning over against the uh, against the edge of the holster. What we're going to do with this one, we're going to try and drill it into the top. Uh, we're going to try and drill into the top so that we can rest it up against the uh, holster when we get down there. So a little pin vise, a little drill, and we're going to go very, very slowly and see if we can get a hole in here. This is a very old pin vise. Uh, I keep trying to find uh, one like this because this is fantastic. It's really nice quality and you can hear the clicking on the end. Well, that's the that's the other collet on the other end just spinning in my palm. So occasionally I'll just tighten it back up again and then carry on. It's a really nice old pin vise. Uh, and you can't get you can't get ones with this nice collets anymore. It's really annoying. So we don't have to go in very far. I've gone in way too far there. So you don't need to do that. So there's a nice hole in there. Now we're going to go in very carefully with probably not going to need to put this in the pin vise. So we'll go in very carefully with a size 2, so this is a 2 mil. Uh, I think this is actually going to be a little bit tight. So we'll just do it with just do it with a knife instead. So if I cut a V in there like that, extend it out, and then the same around here, and just very, very carefully trim that to right. Is it too big? I need a slightly smaller one. It'll be fine. So I'm just I'm just widening because obviously it's a holster for a gun, so the whole side is going to be. I'll, I'll glue that back in in a second. So I'm going to leave that bit there. So I'm just taking little bits at a time out of this. 
just to give it the impression. And then what you can do is you can just fill it with paint. Fill it with dark, dark black paint or dark brown paint and it will look fine. There we go. Uh, and we can fill that with glue as well and it will soften it out. So now once we've done that, we can... So that's going to get snipped around there where are my snippets so if we have it going a little bit in like that then we've got we've got a little bit here that we can just trim trim off so we want to make a point so that this fits into the holster so just taking slithers off each side yes you could do this with a file it'd probably be Nice and easy as well. When I'm cutting like this, just pay attention to how close my hands are. So my hands, my hands can't get any closer than this. And all I'm doing is I'm rocking, rocking the uh, the knife together. So I'm not pushing like this. If I was pushing like this and then I slipped, I would go into my fingers. But because my hands are together. The knife can't really go anywhere, so that should be about all right. Nearly, nearly. So we'll speed this up. So there we go. So we'll grab a little bit of glue. I'm going to fill the fill the holster with glue, and you'll see that once we put the glue in here as well, it softens out all those little knife marks and cuts that we were making. And then that will sit in there nicely. Uh, in fact, what we can do is we can slide slide that down the edge of it like that. There we go, so then that follows that all the way down. And also gives it a bit of width. There we go. So that's that. And that's now ready to glue onto the model. So we can fill that with a little bit of glue and also the foot there. That will then drop on there like that. So that's the lance sorted. And all we need to do now is sit him on there. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Have him all over on one side. That's quite cool. Have him out there. So it's just as if he's just as if he's just about to pull that up to his up to his uh, head, uh, to his eyes, so he can take a shot. That's quite cool, actually. Uh, what's it look like on this side? Quite nice that side. I do like it here. I think that's fantastic. That's really, really cool. So we're going to glue it on there. Now you can see it's a little bit wobbly. Again, that's just this little belt on the back. So a pair of clippers, remove that, trim it up neatly. You're never going to notice that because it's down the back. We're going to fill his torso with glue. Like that. Drop him on. So that was quite a nice accidental, accidental pose because as I dropped it on there, I hadn't, I hadn't, I had no idea that I was going to put him, put him in this pose. Uh, I was going to do him in a pose similar, similar to the other one that I had, shooting across the, across the um, neck of the horse. 
but that's really cool. And uh, I'm just going to run some extra glue underneath there just to hold it. There we go. That's not sitting particularly well, but the glue will the glue will hold it once it sets. That's fantastic. Now all I've got to do is find a head. Here we go. All done. So we've had uh, just to catch up with what we've finished off on. So I picked a head. It's a uh, it's a very shouty head, and he's got some goggles as well because he's on a horse, so he's going to be riding fast. He needs some goggles. So he's he's on a shouty shouty head. He's like ah just before he pulls the gun up to shoot. So uh, I've also added that little bit of putty in on his shoulder as well, just to cover up the gap and uh, to hide the gap even more. I've added uh, one of the bandoliers on as well. So <laughs> yeah, all I've I haven't put any bandoliers. As you can see on their chests, I probably should. I might, uh, I might take my tweezers and see if I can squeeze some bandoliers underneath the arms at some point. But that is, that is that one. You can see I've also just slightly tilted the horse over to one side as well, um, just to uh, give a little bit more of a sense of movement. Now, one of the things that uh, we did on this we snipped off the little peg that holds onto the torso and what that does is uh, you can do that on the rest of the models as well and it gives you just a little bit more freedom where you can twist the torso you know what i like with <laughs> you know what i'm like with torso twists you can twist the torso just to make some even cooler um angles and things and also because the reins are so thin and so flexible uh, i mean i'm going to be able to stretch that one and, and and make it fit in there i'm just waiting for everything to dry uh, but like this one here uh, this one sorry like this one here this one's had a torso twist this one's twisted backwards so his arm is slightly further forward this is a sergeant so he's uh, spearing down with a frag frag tip and uh, on here look we've we've extended the uh, the bend on the rein here so that it still fits in into the uh, the bridle mount on the on the horse and these are the whole five and with the two pew pew ones little conversions uh, this, <laughs> this one's insane so he's he's properly properly on the go on this horse he's got some uh, some riding skills this guy has uh, but uh, <laughs> we'll probably name him in the same way as we named trevor and uh, sergeant hudson for the for the mech suits we'll have to name this guy as well because he's clearly badass so there we go thank you very much guys if you do try this like little tweak and conversion then please drop me a message on instagram or twitter or something and show show them off to me uh, thank you very very much for hanging out we have um lots more videos to come so if you could drop me a follow and a subscribe that would be amazing and i am on twitch three uh, three times a week so Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then mostly on a Saturday as well. So it's, it's usually three times a week. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Chris Frostin. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Frostin as well. And I will see you all at the next one. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you all soon.